Close your eyes, focus on your breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. This is how the mind develops its strength of concentration. If you jump around a lot, you don't really get a sense to rest. You don't really get a, any strength that comes from resting and staying in one place for a long time. When the mind, mind doesn't have that sense of ease and well-being that comes from being in one place, it gets pushed around really easily because it goes out looking for food outside, looking for pleasure outside. And if it gets the things it likes, okay, it, it gets pulled by the nose. If it finds things it doesn't like, it gets pushed away. And either way, it's a slave to its likes and its dislikes, because it doesn't have anything really good to base its happiness on. This is why you have to turn around and look inside and develop this continuity of just staying with the breath all the way in, all the way out, not letting yourself get disturbed by anything else. Because when the mind has this kind of solidity, then when the winds of the world come blowing around, gain and loss, status, loss of status, pleasure, pain, praise, criticism, the mind isn't affected because it's not there, out there scooping them up, looking for its happiness there. It's got its own happiness inside. When the mind has a sense of well-being inside, also can turn around and look and see, where are the real problems in the world? The real problems are not outside. The real problems are inside. Things the mind does, ideas it has that it goes running with, that cause a lot of trouble. And we usually don't like to look at that. Nobody likes to look at their own shortcomings. But this is what we've got. And if we don't look at them, they're never going to get cured. So when the mind is in a good mood that it gets from concentration, when it's able to see things more consistently and clearly, then it's a lot more willing to admit, oh, I've been stubborn here, I've been prideful there, I've been greedy or whatever. You can see it as it actually happens, and you can see why you don't want to go there anymore. That way you begin to open things up in the mind so that you can see inside and get rid of all the committee members that you don't like and just keep the ones that you do. So try to develop this quality of continuity in your meditation. Just stay with the breath all the way through the in-breath and then turn around all the way through the out-breath and not go, go jumping off any place in between. And as the mind develops its ability to stay with one solid object, it really develops strength. The strength that builds on its conviction, builds on its mindfulness and persistence. and gives a good foundation for discernment that actually cleans out the problems of the mind. To try to develop this principle of continuity, of staying concentrated on one thing as continually as you can, without jumping off in the, even for a moment. And you'll see that it really makes a change inside the mind. The mind has a much more solid foundation. So as, as Again, as I said, when the winds of the world come, you don't get blown around by them. Like that image the Buddha gives is of a column of stone, 16 spans tall, 8 spans are buried in the ground. The wind comes from the north, and it doesn't have an effect. The wind comes from the south, the east, the west, the intermediate direction. It doesn't have any effect because the, the column of stone is very well buried. So try to develop that quality of solidity in your, mind, in your own mind, and that way you'll be able to live in this world and not get blown around by the world. And you'll be able to see for yourself where you're causing suffering, and you can drop that too. That way you're not affected by bad things outside and not affected by bad things inside. That's when the mind really gets safe and really gets secure. <laughs>